In this video, we are going to use Integramat to loop through values. And these are values that are either in an array or in a comma separated list or, or literally any type of list because it's a little bit different depending on, on which way you go. So let's get into it. For the purposes of this example, we'll pull values from a specific record in Airtable. In our example infrastructure, and the table we want is the example table. And now we need to go get the specific record that we want to grab. And how we can do that is by coming over here, adding a formula field, and then literally typing record ID. And it's as easy as that. And we can rename this actually. Cool. And over here, we just have a list, which is going to be an array, and then a list that is just you know a random grocery list. Let's copy the record ID paste it in, and run this step. Great, we have our values here. We have our grocery list, and we have an array linked to the dictionary, which these are the record IDs attached to that, because an Airtable linked records will show up as IDs. Now, how do we loop through these? Well, let's start off with the array, these values here. How do we loop through these values if we want to send a Slack message on a per item basis. We will add an iterator step down at the bottom on flow control, iterator, and we'll add that in here, and we will loop through the linked to dictionary values, and we can just, we don't have to click in this, we can just click the entire thing. Now let's add a Slack step. It'll send a message to me for each item in that array. We're gonna put it in the testing channel. Maybe we want to know the name of the individual, uh, maybe the bundle that it's running on, this is going to be the number of looped value. So this will either be one through three, right? Because we have three items in here. And if we wanted the value of what we were looping, we can insert a step beforehand that will look up that record ID in the dictionary table and pull out that value. But for this, we'll just keep it simple. So let's run this and take a look. Boom. So you see how this iterated once and this was sent three times because it sent a message per looped item. And we can see here, item one, item two, item three. Now let's loop through the grocery list items and see what that does. So instead of linking the, the dictionary array, let's link the list, click OK, and let's run it. Aha, everything ran once. Well, we know there's more than one thing in this list, right? We, we passed in one, two, three, four, five, five or six things. Why did this only run once? Well, right now it's reading it as an array and there's only one thing in that array. So how do we split this up? Integramat has a cool set of functions that allow us to split. And that is the function that we will use. We will split the list by whatever the delimiter is. In this case, it's a comma. Click OK, and let's see what happens. Boom, it ran six times, and we can take a look here. It ran six times, and let's change one last thing in the Slack message, because maybe we, 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 we don't care about the order position, maybe we care about what is being looped through. And you know what, maybe I'm a little bit picky, and I wanna capitalize my value. So, we can do that too, with the start case function. Let's give this a run. And there we go. So it looped through six times and great. Now we have the name and the item on the list. Now, what if I want to add more things to this automation, but I don't want it to get looped. Maybe I only want this Slack message to get looped, but I have other steps after this. Maybe I want to send like a, a big notification saying, hey, the list was just updated but I only want this sent out once per run, not once per loop. How do we make that happen? So we can set it up similarly to the XR testing. Loop automation ran. And we'll add the link to the automation. That way we know what automation ran. Awesome. Now, how do we set this up in a way so that only this will get iterated on or looped through and this will only send once. What we do is we add a filter. 
where the total number of bundles, right, from this iterator is equal to the bundle order position. And what this means is that if there are 10 or six bundles, it will iterate through this up until the sixth position, in which case the total number of bundles six will be equal to the order position, which is six, which is the last value in that bundle, in which case it'll pass through and send this message. So let's try this again. So now we should see six notifications that look like this, followed by one notification that will say this automation ran. Bing, bing, boom, and that's it.